Hello, this is B. Walker with Modern Canine Services, and today I would like to read to you from a newly published book, Keep Your Paws on the Road, A Practical Guide to Traveling with Dogs. The book was authored by me, B. Walker, and my husband, Jim Walker, a master dog trainer. The chapter I am reading to you is chapter 7, and is part of the first part of the book, which is Travel Preparations. Chapter 7. Unfamiliar Places Now that your dog has learned to walk properly on the leash, respects open doors, and is comfortable riding inside your car or the recreational vehicle, you can start to introduce him to different places and situations. Once you are on the road, you will need to take your dog mostly everywhere you go. It's hard to prepare for all the different scenarios, but you can prepare your dog by taking him to busy places such as farmers markets or outdoor festivities. When we first started traveling with our dogs, we took Jaeger to the beach in California. As a Chesapeake Bay retriever, he right away fell in love with the ocean. California has some pretty awesome dog beaches. Jaeger could be off leash and swim and chase the waves all day. In the evening we took the dog with us to Venice Beach, a popular and very busy area north of Los Angeles. The area was buzzing with tourists, street musicians and merchants. Jaeger was fine until some young people came down the boardwalk on their skateboards. He did not like the sound of the skateboard coming up behind him. In his fear, he backed out of his collar, and he got so nervous he ended up with diarrhea right in the middle of the boardwalk. Three things we learned that day. One, make sure you expose your dog ahead of time to a lot of noisy and busy places so he is calm and relaxed when you are out wanting to have fun on your vacation. Two. Use your training collar in addition to your regular collar to secure the dog in unfamiliar places. And three, always walk your dog and have him do his business before you go to an area that has lots of people. You can use his regular training collar in addition and attach the leash to both. The training collar won't fall off the dog and he cannot back out of it. It is a good security to make sure you don't lose your dog. In case you were wondering, Jaeger was fine. He seeks his security from being close to us. So even without the leash and collar, he never moved away from us. Still, it was an uncomfortable situation. Practice to take your dog to the busy downtown areas and walk him up and down different types of stairways and narrow walkways. Get him used to crowded areas with lots of other people and other animals. It's not just about different noises and smells that your dog needs to get used to, but also different types of surfaces he may need to walk on. When we took our dogs to Seattle, Washington, we wanted to see the Ballot Locks. It is a popular tourist attraction and there were a lot of people visiting that day. When we got to the main area where the boats are being raised and lowered, we noticed that the walkway over the water was a metal see-through grid. Birgit's first reaction was to tell Jim to go ahead and see the lock up close while she would wait with the dogs at a nearby bench. Jim, being a dog trainer, thought it was a great opportunity to see if the dogs would be comfortable. He encouraged Birgit to walk Jaeger onto the metal gangway. Jaeger actually never hesitated. He just walked right out to the lock area and stood by Birgit's side while she watched the boats come into the lock. Heidi, the smaller dog, was tucked safely under Jim's arm, since her tiny paws could have easily slipped through the coarse metal grid surface. You never know what type of walking surface you may encounter on a vacation trip. We've taken our dogs over bridges with wooden planks swinging high above a gorge. They have been on paddle boards, narrow steep hiking trails, in elevators and on moving sidewalks. 
You may not plan to do a lot of adventurous stuff, but there are a lot of unexpected situations waiting for you and your dog. We believe one of the most important travel preparations is to make sure your dog is comfortable in unfamiliar places. Feel safe wherever you take him because he has learned to trust you. Following are a few exercises you can do with your dog prior to taking him on vacation. These training exercises expose your dog to some unfamiliar places and in the process teach him to rely on you for guidance and safety. Hometown Adventure Exercises 1. Get your dog used to being out in public places. It's actually a good idea to practice taking your dog with you to a few busy places around your hometown and get him used to being out in public. Make it a regular habit to take your dog to the farmer's market or an outdoor event. This will teach him to be around a lot of other people, noises, and smells. Make sure he's comfortable walking through crowded areas and make sure he's well behaved. He should be walking calmly by your side and not bark or lunge at the leash when he sees other dogs or distractions. 2. Practice on different types of surfaces. Expose your dog to as many different surfaces and distractions as possible. Find a local skateboard park and take your dog near it. The sounds and fast moving skateboards are hard to get used to for many dogs. Being accustomed to these noises will help you as you are out in unusual surroundings. 3. Take your dog to the local restaurants. Have you taken your dog out for dinner? Can you eat and enjoy your meal with him under the table or is he getting himself wrapped up in his leash and is restless? Practice until he is calm and lays down under the table, out of everyone's way. Don't allow your dog to sit on the chair or sniff around the tabletops. 4. Teach him to be left by himself. This may be the hardest lesson to teach. Try to find an area that you can leave your dog by himself and see how he reacts. Most dogs will whine or bark when left by themselves in an unfamiliar surrounding. You can start the exercise by leaving your dog with another person while you walk out of sight. If you're by yourself, tie the dog up to a tree, put him in a sit or stay and walk out of sight. It's always a good idea to have a familiar item for him to lay on, so bring your dog's bed or blanket. Only leave him for a few minutes and then come back. If he whined or barked, resist making a big deal at your return. Rather, act matter-of-fact. Slowly extend the amount of time until you can leave your dog by himself for about five minutes. End of exercises. We would love to hear about your experience with unusual places and how your dog managed them. Please come join us at our Facebook group, keep your paws on the road, and share your pictures and stories with our growing community of dog-loving travelers. You can find a link to the Facebook group on our website at moderncanineservices.com. Thank you.